Hello everyone, my name is Phil Hui. This summer I worked on a project called Radiation Biology Research at an Elevated Altitude Through Dosimetry, or RADRED for short. I worked on this project with another intern named Daniel Graves, and we worked under the supervision of Dr. Sigurd Reinch and Dr. Sergio Santa Maria. So I'll be giving a really quick overview of the project and the work we completed this summer. This project all started out with a company called Swift Engineering. Uh, Swift Engineering developed a new aircraft that they're calling the Hale UAS. This is a very light solar powered vehicle, so it can stay up in the sky for a really long time, potentially for weeks at a time. The aircraft is designed to operate at altitudes of up to 65 to 70,000 feet in the stratosphere, and there's a lot of interest in flying biological payloads up in the stratosphere, since the stratosphere environment can be considered a Mars analog in terms of temperature, pressure, and radiation levels. So this aircraft has the potential to be a really useful platform for understanding the effects of long-term exposure to Mars-like conditions. But there's a small secondary payload space in the wing of the aircraft, and the work Daniel and I have been doing this summer was getting a biological payload containing yeast cells ready for an upcoming flight in October. So here's an image of our payload. Uh, the sides of the payload will contain well plates, and these well plates will hold our yeast cells. The reason we're flying yeast is because yeast have many genes with similar functions and sequences to those found in humans. One thing we're really interested in investigating is the effects of elevated UV radiation levels in the stratosphere on DNA damage. To help us measure the radiation in the stratosphere, we're also including a UV microlog and an ionizing radiation dosimeter in the payload. So that's a really quick overview of our project this summer. Thank you to everyone who's helped us out along the way. And if you're interested in getting involved with this project, feel free to contact Dr. Sigurd Reinch. Thank you.